All right, what do we got here? Say 2007. Repeat. 2007. 2007. Say 20. 20. 07. Chrysler. 300. All right. All right, here we got a 2007 Chrysler 300. Uh, the problem we're having on this car is the passenger side is blowing hot, driver is blowing cold. So those are your climate control right there. This is the one you switch your temperatures. So to get the one on that side, to get to it is really easy. All you gotta do is bring the glove box down and you can get to it right there. The one we're doing on the driver, you gotta remove you gotta remove this cover with a uh, Phillips right there and then a Phillips on the bottom here. Then you unplug your trunk opener. Then you're gonna remove a couple 10 millimeter. You're gonna have that shield. Remove that shield. Then you're gonna come down here and the one the one we're gonna change is the one up there. That's your door blender for the driver's side. That one right there. Not the first one here. This one is, this one's, um, that one changed the mode. So if you wanna throw the air to the feet, the, to the windshield, to your face, this is the one that does it, okay? But the good news is the one part will fit all three, this one, that one for the driver's side, and the one on the other side for the passenger. So one part, which is this right here, that's the part number, okay? And this is the part. This little thing will fit on all three places. Wherever you wanna put it, you can put it, so. That's a good thing that you only need to buy one and you can fix whatever problem you're having. If it's only one problem, you can fix it with just one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the three little screw, eight millimeter, and, and do it. And I'll show you. Okay, so after you remove the three screw, and I'll show you exactly where they are so you don't get confused and remove the wrong one because they're there is a screw right here between this pipe, these two heater core pipes. You don't need to remove the bottom one. That one, you don't remove it. So you're gonna remove one right here, on the corner, one on the top corner, and then one on this other corner over here. And I'll show you what, once I get it out. Okay. So here, so it goes, it goes like that. You remove this bottom one, the top one, and then this one right here. All right, to unplug it, all you gotta do is press this little red tab out, then you press in. Okay. Hard to do it with one hand. Press in and pull out. Right there. So like I said, this little part will fit all three. The two on this side, one on the other side. So all you need is just one. You can fit it on all of them. All right, so now I'm gonna plug it in first. it in like that then push the red tab in if I can get a hold of it come on press against this right here okay right there all right so now all I gotta do Remember this one, this one's gonna go through the 
connector facing down. Like that. Just like that. Yep, right there. Now I will put all my little screw back in and then we test it out. So let me let me do the struggle by myself. So I'm gonna go right there in the top. Bottom one. Okay. And my eight millimeter. All right. Let me get this on, and I'll get back to you. All right. So I already tested out. Uh, you can't see it. You can only feel it here um, if you touch it put your hand on it and that's you can feel it that it's moving but you're gonna hear because that thing is really smooth it doesn't make noise here do the test real quick yeah you're gonna see it but now it's blowing hot on this on this side on well i would say on both sides so now it's working the way it's supposed to be working so i hope my video helped you fix your own um, heating problem, I mean, you know, to get it even working on both sides. Alright, so please subscribe, like, and share, and I'll see you in the next one.